there is not actually time for crying time for complaining time to blaming whosoever it is a time for you to stand to take an action it is a time for you to stand and take whatever to belong whatever that belongs to you it's time for you to end that particular situation that pains whatever that you're experiencing in your life that does not please you that you know that this thing is not normal and you want to let it off your life and also this is time for you to stand in a gap for that your loved ones your husband your wife your children your siblings whoever that you care and love so much and that person is passing through one particular challenges one particular pains and all that it is a time for you to take an actions i am going to see the magic i am going to see the infectivity i am going to see the the instant miracle of God Almighty. So guys, we are actually going to be doing this assignment tomorrow, Friday, 21st of June, okay? Do this assignment and please don't forget to come back here on the comment section to share your testimony. So do you have a loved one or are you yourself passing through things that you've trying to stop and you could not stop it? As a parent, your child are not doing well, your children are not doing well, they have been trying to acquire one particular things and it's not working. They have been in school and they are not actually, you know, connecting to whatever they have been taught to or whatever. It is time for you to take an action or you yourself you feel that you've been manipulated you have so so many sickness you're trying to let off or that a particular issue being it a court case being it a financial problem anything at all that you want to let off your life guys tomorrow friday 21st of june 2024 is the best time to do that so please if you see this video before then i must tell you congratulations and you that opportunity to see this video do me a favor massively to share this video give it a massive like reaction so it will be pushed to get to another people because you are about to save a soul, right? Before I dive into this video, in case you are seeing me for the first time, my name is Promise. Here in this space, I share spiritual tips, okay? How to use natural thing that God created for spiritual purposes. But remember, you need to believe in God that created all these things, have faith, and I assure you, your life will change for good. So if you have not been following me or subscribed to my space, please, I beg you to do that to join the big family and you are not going to regret it okay so guys like i said you are going to do this assignment on the june tomorrow friday june 2024 please don't ask me too much questions on the comment section can i do it after that you can only do this assignment either on the june 24th or june 22nd once you miss this part hold on i will surely come back to tell you another time to connect to such positive energy for that particular thing. Like I always tell you or tell us guys that life is an energy and every day, every month, every moment comes with different energy, right? So it's best to connect to a particular energy for such or for a particular thing to get it solved immediately. So I must tell you that 21st and 25th, especially on the 24th, 25th, 22nd is added. Don't mind me saying 25th. I mean 21st and 22nd is the best time to do this assignment for a perfect result. Now, let's assume you are doing this for yourself. What you need to do is to get me a plain sheet of paper and get me a pen. Remember, have faith and believe in God, right? This has, you can do it depend on your belief. All you need is to say words, pray to God, and sure it's going to work for you. Now, when you get the plain sheet of paper or you get a paper, you get a pen, you are going to write your name. Let's assume you are doing that for yourself. You are going to write your name. Maybe your name is Promise Amarashi Uche. You just write it boldly at the beginning of your notes, right? Then you are going to write those things 
as many as you want you know what you want to let off maybe for example let me use for example you have a spiritual sickness spiritual sickness i mean is that the sickness that you've been taking drugs you've been going from one places and yet nothing is working you always eat in your dream you always see yourself in your village you all you are married and no children your children so anything related to that you are going to be listing it guys let me tell you setting your intentions whenever you are doing a assignment or praying generally works very well some of us will be like oh god understand it. of course you understand or sometimes your words carry so much energy that when you say it out to the universe or you let it out the universe connects and works for you so that is why it's very very required of you to write down those things i am not saying good things like all the things you want to let off maybe late marriage on being able to make it in life whatever poverty anything write it very very well right the way you're done writing it you are going to get me a glass bowl this particular one you need a breakable bowl yes if you don't have and you have a glass cup like this you see you can use it or if you don't have because i know so many persons be like oh promise i don't have it what will i do if you don't have get any of them anyone you have but please if you have a brokeable jar, brokeable bowl, brokeable uh, glass, please use it for an instant result. Now, when you get it, this is water, right? You don't write in all those things. Now, place it inside this water. For example, let's assume this is my uh, request intentions. And after writing this, you are going to place it inside this water. Like I said, around 11.15 on the 24th, go outside your house and drop this water there. Go outside your house and drop this water there. Now, for example, you are living in a place where you can actually go outside for some reasons. Go to your window sink. So make sure the window is open. Go to your window side where there is window, but make sure the window is open. Place it there. Leave it there till, um, in the, till early in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, first thing in the morning, before you talk to anybody, go and get this water. Now, say your final prayer. That has let this off, whether it's projected, whether it's by mistake, but however it came to your life, that this will be the end of it. Then pour it back to nature. Yes, and go and relax and see the manifestation. Like I said, you can do this for your anyone that you love, maybe your husband, your children. You feel like there is something they are experiencing. Maybe they have been looking for a job, they could not get the job, or maybe your daughters they have been believing God for suitors and it's not working. Write that person's name. You can write as many as it must not be one person, right? But I advise you if you want to write it write it individual like get a play sheet of paper separately write the person's name write the things you want to let off but you can put it inside the same water and do this assignment guys do this 21st and 25th 22nd but if you can do it on the 21st that is the main time to connect to this energy do it the next day pick it off and throw it back to nature and please don't forget to come back here with testimony because you are going to experience the power of nature and the power of God in your life. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video for more. Follow me or subscribe for more spiritual tips. I love you guys.